What's up? What's up? Uh, saludos. Hello. Guillermo Castro. How's it going, man? Alright, guys. So, what's up, James? How's it going? So, is everything good? The music good? It's not too loud or nothing? Should be alright. Just background music. What's up, you fear the scat man? How's it going? So, like... Should I, do I even need to give away, uh, uh like, a stencil for this? <laughs> is it, is it, I think it's, like, so obvious. I don't know. What's up, Tokena? Or, Tokina? Shelton? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know. Tokena? Tokena Shelton. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. What's up, Blue Bayou? Hola, hola. Hola, como estas? Muy bien, y tú? <laughs> Alright, what's up, everybody? Um, so, yeah. Here we have today's project, and it's two separate little uh, stencils that I've made myself, little cutouts um, that'll make this project kind of super easy. But I doubt we'll even make it to these parts uh, today because you, we have all this black, right? We have all this black around here. So the whole goal here is uh, to add a background. Um, so do I need to do it? Do I need to do it? First person to guess who it is? Free stencil off the mikesbrush.com. I mean, it's not. It shouldn't be hard. This is this is easy cakes. If you don't know who this is, I don't know what to tell you. What's up, Derek Coleman? How's it going? All right, all right. So in the background of this, obviously you can see we have a whale and we have our character down here. Yeah, obviously it's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> but but which artist is this panel for, you know? That's what I'm saying. What's up, Claudia? How's it going? So in the background of this, I want to make like a space background and maybe even some planets, um, you know, something like that. As in being that, that we have this whale here, I do want some like splashes like coming off the back side of here and maybe off the front side just a little bit. Um, and that's that's what I want to get accomplished today, which sounds easier uh, than done. Gerald Mendez, yeah, there it is. You fear the scat man. You got it, bro. <laughs> I mean, it, it's like it's a, it's a it's it's a, like this is. Every, you should know this. If you don't know who which artist uh, works at Disneyland, and uh, now this is a this is kind of a thing from the movie but the reason I'm doing a universe background and like a kind of like a spacey background is cuz uh, a lot of Gerald's art is uh, kind of has that vibe where he does a lot of that kind of like special stuff like that and I did I totally I've been trying to get this panel like these ideas or these cutouts perfect and the right size and stuff um, because yeah Ever since I was a kid, like Gerald's one of the guys that I looked up in the magazines. Um, you know, he's kind of one of the guys that inspired me. Um, and I, I didn't know up until recently uh, that he actually worked for Disney. I, I just, uh, I never, when I, from what I remember, he never did it. I never seen him do any Disney characters or any of that, um, except for that one part uh, in that on that one board or something that they kind of always show um, but for the most part all I have ever seen him do is like fish and like space and and stuff like that and yeah he's kind of always been a really big inspiration for me and, and all and on top of all of that he's also um, you know Latino Hispanic whatever you want to call it um, so that was also a big thing that played into it um, as well Cause it's like, hey, he's like me. Hey, he's, he's like me. I could do it too. You know? Um, so, yeah. So, Scatman, send me an email and stuff. And, uh, yeah. Um, what up, Justice? How's it going? You missed it. What was the question? So, the, the question is, what what was the name of the artist that we're, this panel is for? Um and it's Gerald Mendez, he's a great artist. Uh, didn't know he worked there, but watched the McGee has been working on. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what his role at Disney is, 
but I do know he kind of works for Disney and stuff. So it's kind of what I want have here is a uh, um, the Fantasia Mickey Mouse, obviously, right? So he's wearing his robe and stuff and his little hat, but he's also holding an airbrush. So I made him holding an airbrush, and he's pointing the airbrush towards the, you know basically towards up towards the sky and we're gonna have all the space in the back and then we're gonna make the whale kind of look like it's jumping into space kind of basically so <sighs> you're new to the game so you don't know all the players yeah 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 so, ah, man it's just that's kind of the sad part of uh airbrush action magazine kind of going away because it was that place where it was like I don't know. A lot of the original people is, is kind of the vibe, I should say, um, that they were on. Um, and so, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to just start laying some of this daylight blue kind of in the back. Um, more towards the center, right? So this center area, I'm going to kind of build it up. And it's space, so I'm not going to fill it, but I am going to kind of make it look like maybe there's like a little, you know what do you call those uh, space clouds uh, you know like galaxy type things over here and then we're gonna add some stars over it and then we'll come back in with some some more colors like some more blue purple and then we'll layer in more stars maybe we'll do some candy like some sunset magenta in there just to shade in some of the stars and then make it uh, you know yeah space gave it away yeah 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 space for sure uh and if if you've been watching his live streams lately because that's again he's been live streaming and stuff some of his new uh over on his uh on his facebook so make sure you go and you follow him as well if you don't already uh somebody already put it in the chat but it's gerald mendez so make sure you go and you follow him fantastic artist if you don't know about Gerald it's like what are you doing with your life so also kind of a way of making sure that you guys are are on par and know all these artists and I, I the see this one you know Scatman got it right away the next one it's kind of gonna be one of those ones where I don't think uh, I don't think people are gonna get it right away because he's maybe not so known but amongst uh, like me, especially like painters uh, and on the streets, on the street level, um, you, we've I've like I've seen a lot of his cars, and I've actually like added art artwork onto some of his cars that he's uh, pinstriped because he's a pinstriper. So the next one will be for one of them. Well, what I believe is the next one. There's a few panels over there. It could. I could uh, honestly change by the next one, but one of the panels, I should say, one of the panels we're doing will be for yeah, a pinstriper that's going to be there at the Airbrush Rendezvous. Um, <laughs> Nebula? Yeah, Nebulas. Is that what they're called? What's up, Angelo? What's up, Vinny Higgs? Uh, how's it going? Hola, Carlitos. Hola, hola. He streams on Sunday evenings. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you go and you follow Gerald. So I'm just gonna work my way around with this a little bit, and then we are gonna tint it down, and maybe this is kind of just our base for space here. Right, and it's just a whole bunch of whole bunch of randomness, right? Since it's really all spaces. And then I'm gonna use. Uh, we're going to cut out some circles, and then we'll use circles to kind of fill in the planets and do planets where we feel it's necessary. And maybe back over here, we're going to have like a galaxy over here, just kind of... You know, have that little spiral action. off in the distance there so I'm just gonna lightly build it up just real light just leave that back there something like that look it's free willy yeah it will be free willy 
Oh, Air Todd. Actually, Air Todd, that reminds me. Um, is SeaWorld open? Do you still work at SeaWorld? Don't you work at SeaWorld? Is it open, bro? I don't know. I just figured I'd better ask the man. The man himself. Because... <laughs> So Jess and Violet are going with me, right? Um, but while I'm taking the class, they get to go and have fun all throughout California um, without me. So, <laughs> so it's going to be a fantastic, fantastic time. Uh, what's up, Alessandro? Alessandra Nevis? Nevis? Uh, and the rat with big ears. <laughs> it's open? They never called you back? Oh, man. What is the material spray on? So this is, uh, steel. We're, I'm spraying on steel right now. Um. <laughs> How many are you going to do? Boo, that's no fun for you. Yeah, well, I'm going to be taking a class and stuff, so I, I'd rather take the class. And there's always next time I could, you know. I'm okay with missing vacation in order to get this class over with and uh, to know how this, that Luminor paint works. And, yep, meeting everybody and everything like that and getting to hang out with everybody all day is going to be quite interesting. How many am I going to do? So, I'm not quite sure how many in total, but I'm aiming for about 10. 10 panels. Maybe maybe a little bit more, but I'm trying to shoot for 10. I have three kind of done, and I have three over there that are prepped, and then that's six, and then I have two more big ones that I just started, and then plus this one, that's nine. And then I, I, I'm probably going to do a couple more than that. So, uh, I don't know. It just depends on how much time I have. I plan to do them up until a week before. So, this whole month is like live stream, live stream madness as we get all these panels done, you know? Alright. So, I'm going to leave that blue in there. Because we're going to use some more of that. This is just kind of like a quick little, you know, base. All I'm going to do is load up some white. And I'm going to use the Patriot 105 for this. And then uh, we're going to use a little piece of... Uh, a little piece of uh, stencil material here. Got to go, got to go to Facebook to share. All right. <laughs> What's up, Basinge? Um, hello, got you live, but I love your teaching. Thanks. Uh, right on, right on. Just got off work, heading home to paint. All right, hell yeah. What's up, Herard Israel? How's it going? Alright, so I've shown this trick a lot of times before. I'm just going to do it again. I need to get a piece of stencil material out. Let me get it. Luckily, nowadays... Oh, jeez. Try not to bump that. Um, there's a lot of freaking little just leftover stencil pieces like this, right? So all I'm going to do... Is folded into like a hot dog, right? Bam. Hot dog action. And then I'm gonna. This particular piece has like this extra, so I'm just gonna cut it off just so it's nice. Alright, so we have like a little, a little funnel way. And then just to avoid backsplash on this backside here, I'm 
we're gonna kind of fold it back like this right so we have like a, a little hot dog funnel here and all I'm gonna do is use this back end right here right with this white I'm gonna put my airbrush right up in there see that let's see here let me show you Right, so I have the airbrush right up in there like that. And I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray right up in there, and it's gonna hit that. And you see that build up? And what, it's gonna start spraying um, dots, basically. So let me focus you back in over here. And all we're gonna do is just spray it. Too, too crazy and then I'm gonna just just so we can use it again because we are gonna use it again I'm just gonna take it and wipe it off real quick right, just a paper towel just wipe it off cool enough you see and that gives us our first little layer of stars nothing nothing too too difficult what's up Eric Williams how's it going what's up Jess Kinyowi Zords how's it going what's up Chris how's it going yo wicked insanity how's it going I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start saying universal house is going to everybody. That's what I'm gonna start saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, that way we got our little stars in there, just real easy and quick. Now I'm gonna take a separate airbrush, in this case the Iwata Eclipse. All right, so we we're gonna have three colors loaded at this point, and I'm gonna load up some purple. We need to talk some of the airbrush events into coming to Colorado. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I don't have a shop big enough for that, so. <laughs> Unfortunately, not yet. That's not in my cards yet, bro. But if they find another shop, that'd be dope. I'd go take a class or something for sure. Alright, so I'm just getting some of this, uh dioxazine purple and a little bit of reducer shake it up real good and then we're gonna start layering in some purple and then I would I'm not gonna worry too much about the stars and covering them because we're gonna lay another layer so whatever gets kind of hit or covered by the purple it's just gonna kind of create layers right so but I do want to kind of build up the galaxy look and some of this so that it just looks really good <laughs> Alessandra Neves uh, algún día ojalá un, algún día voy a Brasil yeah Brasil <laughs> alright so I'm just gonna take the purple and uh, just kind of over some of this darker, you know, it's just some of the darker stuff I left behind. I'm gonna start layering in the purple, but you see those little stars that are in there? All right, if I zoom you in a little bit. You see those little stars, they start getting colored in and covered with the purple. So then when I lay more stars over, there's gonna be purple stars, you know, there'll be bright, whiter stars. And then if we lay a green or a darker blue, then there'll be different shades of blue and white and green and purple stars and all this um, and that's really what's going to give the whole space background really nice depth and that's just the, the way I've done stars for a long time you could do that on shirts and everything it's the same little technique of just using the, the little cone I might turn that into like an attachment you could sell you could put on your airbrush and it already has the the right angle and everything and then you just put it on and you start spraying and it automatically starts shooting little dots a little stipple 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 tool
So yeah, we're gonna give this space lots of good amount of layers, lots of color, lots of stars. You should pay us a visit in Uganda one day too. Uganda would be interesting. I would, I would not, any country, I would not mind visiting. Wow, well, I shouldn't say any country, but most countries I'm willing to visit and just, you know, that, that'd be awesome. Any country that speaks English or Spanish right off the bat uh, has my, has my interest all the way, like, you know, so I could get around in those countries. I was on Spray Gunner's site yesterday and help of, well, help me find a starter kit with 2D, unfortunately, unless I get another <coughs> Another stimulus check, huh? Man, I hate getting into these talks. I don't like getting into these talks about stimulus checks and stuff. Look, I'm all for people getting money get money any way you can right but at the same time I feel like they gave people a lot of money already <laughs> like and I just feel like I don't know I keep seeing all these reports about businesses not having employees and stuff and not having enough like not being able to hire enough people there's not enough people around and just, it's kind of a double-edged sword where I don't know bro but I feel like at the same time people need to get back to work. <laughs> like I've been working, right? I've been working the whole time of time. I like, if I don't grind, I don't shine. I, I don't qualify for no, no unemployment, nothing like that. So that's why I went from doing shirts, you know, at the end of 2020, 2019, and then had to switch my whole business last year from shirts to everything else, like, cars everything else uh because you know i don't know what i'll do so <laughs> oh you're disabled okay that's different i guess i just you know i'm all about like let's get this sucker going already man i'm tired of it being everything closed already yeah that's just kind of how i feel everybody's getting vaccinated everybody's doing good you know it's summer like let's go bro let's go i'm ready to get back i'm ready to get back on the horse all right so i'm gonna do some more stars over this that's all i'm gonna say about that so i don't mean to offend anybody or nothing but it's like yeah i just feel at the same time it's been it's been too freaking long man He 
you see once we add that second layer in there oh yeah boy oh yeah boy it really starts looking good <clears throat> I use plastic thing they stick in your ear to take your temperature. What do you use the plastic thing for? Uh, you can't. You can barely get on and ride in a lawnmower. You walk so slow. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. What's up, Gerald Mendes? How's it going? Oh my God, they must have told you. Did they tell you? They already ruined the secret, didn't they? <laughs> Mr. Musash, you received your stencils? Right on. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, you need one to pretend you're painting a car. <laughs> What's up, Hiramahi? What's up, Gerald? How's it going? Saludos, saludos, amigo. Maestro. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm going to go back with the blue. And we're going to build up that blue, just maybe just a little bit more. And again, it's going to hide some of those stars and kind of at the same time turn some of them blue. So we're just going to also kind of blend in with that purple just a little more. And we can start adding maybe some little trailings like this. I think it's just like kind of going off. See that off on the side there. some little trailings off in here too and that's why I kind of love the new opaques too is it just makes it so nice to really kind of cover over the other colors and build up like you can build like a really cloud looking and like soft real easy it's all good you laugh about it man <laughs> oh man I'm, just, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I, didn't, I like I said, I don't mean no disrespect or nothing like that. I just, I just feel like it's been too long, you know. At this point. Make sure I get these little spots right up in here so that it highlights uh, that area behind them. We are going to put like kind of a white in here, but I just want to make sure I have that black, I mean that blue backer. What's up, Loey Boluby? How's it going? much before the showstopper that's what we call it oh, oh bro bro you have a nickname for you uh, <laughs> that's like some dark humor stuff bro that's funny but also like at least you could laugh about it I guess <laughs> <laughs> so did somebody tell Gerald that this is for him or did he just come in here uh, and just show up by chance? That's what I want to know. And if somebody told him, it's like, why are you telling? Why are you telling, man? Just why ruin the surprise? <laughs> All right. So I'm kind 
of just building up. And then we want to build up this little galaxy back here, maybe a little more now. See, we had left it in earlier. <laughs> you have a rat in the phone. <laughs> Uh, smash that like button everyone thank you justice your wish list is very long yeah I guess bro I could I, I know how it feels though. I hate that feeling of wanting something and never like feeling like you can't have it that's a horrible feeling to have One more little cap of stars we're gonna use the white in here maybe throw some white just a little bit on these and then I'm gonna make a cutout of a circle or maybe two and we'll go around and add some planets and then uh, kind of just take a look at what we have and what we're looking at and like I said maybe we'll add some sunset magenta uh, candy over some of those highlights just to make it all kind of uh, have some layers and some depth as well as some different color maybe some orange too I don't know let's get crazy with the white though I think the white is really what's gonna set it off um, so <clears throat> trip to Ace later to get a furnace filter I guess what she said I can get a small piece of plywood we found her last time we need a love watching button for Mike. Like button, not enough. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> All right, so let me uh, make sure this is clear. And again, same little trick. We're just gonna add some more. Just a little bit more stars. try to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about so like here in this area specifically let's zoom in just let's zoom in and investigate right so even though let's zoom in more there you go so even though you can see that it's just kind of really just stars if you look closely there you go that's a little better if you look closely at it, like really close, you'll see that in the background, there's like little purple stars right in the back, little blue stars kind of hidden in that little nebula area, right? Um, and then when we lay the clear, all that starts becoming more pronounced. And as you look at it, it starts really just looking a lot deeper and stuff. So that's the whole reason why we do so many layers of kind of just the base stars. It's not even nothing crazy. You see like how when you, pan out and you see that it's just you just see the big ones but when you start looking at it closely you know all those other little ones really start to pop out and shine um but yeah anyway let's have some fun with the white and add some white into this and then we could uh you know we could really start layering and maybe some candy you know maybe we'll do some kind of like candy orange on this side and some sunset magenta on this side and some planets because even though it's just like yeah just add some space it's like no oh, space can space can have fun man Too thick. 
throw some luminous color or flake for effect with the stars. Um, so no, that's also a mistake. Um, so if you throw metallics, like metallic paint, it can look kind of cool. Um, but also, it can also kind of kill your effect of, uh, of like, uh, your, your colors and stuff. Especially when the sun hits it, because the, the reflective of the pearl will take over. With flake, um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I haven't tried it with flake. It, that would, I don't know. I don't know. Like, not with heavy flake or anything like that. But uh, it also might do the same kind of effect. But it all, might just, I don't know, flake is different. So, Especially when you lay it over everything, it, like, everything gets sparkly, right? So the whale would be sparkly. Mickey would be sparkly. If we did it as an undercoat and then you lay, like, candy black or something, the whole space is going to be sparkly and so would everything else. So it's it's not quite the same. Uh, what made you choose that image is Gerald and Mickey fan. So, Gerald, I... I don't know if he works directly for Disney or what the story is, but I believe he works for Disney in some capacity, and that's all I know, and also because he has inspired me and inspired many, 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 many others, way more than me, um, to, you know, use their imagination and be creative. So that's kind of what, where the Mickey kind of comes in, and Mickey's holding an airbrush, right, in this, so that's kind of the whole thing is that he's kind of the... The Disney artist, like he's he's opened your he opens your eyes kind of a little bit to some of the stuff that you know, can do with an airbrush, and then having the whale jump out is because he's he's such a you know he's such a big figure in the airbrush community. So having the whale and it's also kind of part of the the scene, so it all makes sense. And then having the space in the background um, is because Gerald does a lot of kind of spacey scenes and stuff like that and. The, I know I've looked at his spacey stuff before and been like, wow, that's that's really cool. I wish I could do some of that, you know. So that's where that comes in. So that's why there's a Mickey Mouse here. Now I just gotta hope Disney doesn't come and try to claim my live stream, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't monetize the Mickey Mouse even if you paint it yourself but not really hopefully even if they do I'll leave it up because you know it is Mickey Mouse it is what it is but uh yeah this one's for Gerald tell it's Mickey <laughs> well I, I guess right now it's hard to see the stencil at all so I, I don't know. so the more I'm thinking about this candy orange the more I kind of want to add some more bright whites over on this side so we could add some of that candy orange on this side, some of that grabber orange, or then do some of the sunset magenta kind of coming over on this side. And then we'll lay some bleed checker right, right over the candy, and then we'll lay in some more stars. So there'll be even more stars, more colors, and just more everything. It's like, it's just, it's, it's space, right? It's like the, it's the universe, and if it's ever expanding, technically you could lay a thousand layers, a million layers on here, and you would still not have enough layers to really represent the value of space or the universe. You're blind in one eye after you fill it, Mickey will see it at 125%. <laughs> it's totally obvious that it's Mickey. What's up, Jose? How's it going? Mickey get a pick with 
him holding the panel. Well, yeah. I just hope I'm able to hand these to a lot of people. I don't know if I'm... Like, I don't know when exactly who and what's going to be there or what. I just know I asked Gerald and he said he was going to be there as some, like a guest artist or something. So I'm hoping that in that time I actually have the painting on me and I'm able to just hand it to him or if I able to have Dave like, yo, can I put these here and then, you know, display them and then on the day of the last day or something just have all the artists grab them or something. I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know how that's going to work, but. For now, I just know I'm painting and I'm having fun, and uh, the plan is to try to get these all to everybody's hands. Right? So, that's where I'm at with it. Do you only use gravity airbrush or use an airbrush with a side cut? No, I only use, uh, well, why is it talking? I don't only use uh, gravities. I also use the siphon feeds. So the bottom feeds, I've been using a lot of those because that's what I use for t-shirts, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't use any side feeds. So. I know side feeds can be really good for when you're working, like if, like if this was kind of laying a little bit more flat, you could let, you use a side feed for that. Miguel Angel, saludos, saludos. Did you make a tiny one for Steve? No, the one for Steve is actually sitting right back over there. So look, let me see if I can... Uh, see the ones back in the background? This one over here. If you go look uh, over on Facebook or over on Instagram, you'll see the... You'll see the pictures of them. with the side feet nice 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 so we're gonna get a little bit of this in here looks like clouds but not not clouds because clouds don't look like this then we're gonna layer in some candy some candy 2.0 baby uh and then we'll come back in a few days and I mean in a couple days and we'll get the the whale and the Mickey Mouse all finished in, which will actually take, uh, well, I shouldn't say it'll take less time because I don't know. I don't know. We're trying to make it look really good, so. I'm sure they will all enjoy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping they all get a kick out of it, if anything else, you know. Where's that class at? So the Coast Airbrush is uh, based out of Anaheim. So you could actually just go to coastairbrush.com right now and uh, all the information. Like you could, they had a big old banner right on their front page. You can't miss it. 
And uh, I believe there's still spots open too, so. Yeah, definitely worth going and signing up if you haven't already. All the YouTube and stuff is really good for sure. I'm not gonna hate on no YouTube channels, and I try to help as best as I can. But like I've said before, there's certain things you can't learn over a YouTube channel. There's certain stuff that's not on YouTube, like the Lum Luminor stuff is not really on YouTube, right? There's no instructionals on that. So. You know, taking in-person classes is always good. Um, being hands-on can always help. You know, so. <clears throat> uh, hey, Mike, are you going to use the Air Cobra in any of your painting? Yeah. So the Air Cobra is part of my lineup right now of airbrushes. Um, that airbrush is not going anywhere. I use that for everything. I've used it for the past live streams, for all of them really, for, since I got it. I uh, used it on the Steve Leahy painting, I used it on the How to Cut an Onion, on that fire one over there. I've used it for quite a bit of stuff. Probably going to use it today too. It all just really depends on what I'm doing. What's up, break a leg? How's it going? So yeah, so then I talked to Dave, I messaged Dave. I don't want to say, make it seem like we had a big, deep conversation or anything, but I just asked some questions, like if we were able to film there and stuff. I finally got the okay. Um, so that's gonna be fun. I'll be able to bring you guys and show you guys you know what coast airbrush is like on the inside and around show you guys kind of what the progress is on some of the classes and what you can expect yeah and I try to I'm gonna try to get you guys as much information as possible you know, without spoiling the classes and stuff, obviously, but, you know, I know that Coast Airbrush itself is still, like, a, a great mystery to a lot of people, and a lot of people want to be there and go there, but because of time or money or whatever it is, um, a lot of people can't go. I know I've never been, so I'm going to try to document as much as I can and film as much as I can and show everything that I can so that then you guys can check it out and geek out over it and have a good time hola yesenia when i start this when i start this <clears throat> ciao ciao yesenia so yeah if you're interested in all of that make sure you keep an eye on the channel and then uh uh this is the, yeah then earlier today i was watching um Miss Onion Girl, <laughs> Jesse. I was watching uh, Jesse Madera, and uh, she started making a lot of business sense uh, in what she was saying. So I kind of already, you know, when I get back from the the rendezvous, um, 
obviously I'm going to need a break in order to make all the films and stuff, so I won't be making any live streams. And that's kind of what this whole month is about, is just making all the live streams as much as possible and stuff. But uh, getting back from Cali, I'm going to take a break from the live streams. We're gonna, I'm going to try to get and edit a, a few nice videos, like really nice videos with music and effects and everything about the whole trip and the journey to Coast Airbrush. Um, and then, yeah, from then I'm going to open up commissions, uh, but it's going to be a little bit different. And, uh, yeah, my list of services might actually even go down. I might not be doing as much as before, but I'm really going to try to just narrow it down and do just some cool stuff. And, um, uh, yeah, just listening to her today just made a lot of business sense what she was saying. Uh, if you can, go watch her, her, you know, go watch her Instagram feed and stuff. So uh, I'm going to try it out. We'll see. And anyway, it's uh, something that I've been wanting to do for a while, but uh, never had the opportunity to because I do need, like, I do, like I've always said, I need money to pay bills and stuff. But right now, with the way everything's looking and going, and hopefully with the Luminor and all that, and we'll be able to get some nice, you know, big projects, and we won't have to be scraping from the bottom of the barrel so much. And it's not so much that the prices are going up, like Air Todd is saying. I'm just going to be really selective on what I want to paint. You know, I don't want to take in just a bunch of random stuff. Because that's kind of what it's been traditionally, is just like, you know, whatever anybody wants. It's just, yeah, sure, like, that's what the customer wants, that's what I'm painting. And those can be fun sometimes, you know, but a lot of times, um, like how she was saying, you know, is that you take those those deals and stuff like that and it portrays your image in a certain way so then you know other people get the wrong idea about your artwork and stuff like that and I feel like that's maybe happened to me um, over time you know and I didn't I didn't even realize I don't care right? I was just painting whatever but uh, after listening to her today I was like man maybe that's why people just keep wanting to bargain with me and do all this stuff is because maybe the, all these people know each other you know, at the end of the day. So, yeah. I'm just getting some candy colors here. Some sunset magenta and some grabber orange. So, yeah, I think coming back, uh, I really, <clears throat> really, really just want to paint some really nice high-end stuff. You know, like just really nice portraits and, you know, designs like this and, and really just sit down and focus and not have to sand my ass off on a car, you know, and, and do all that. Because that's, that's something you guys don't see, you know, I don't, sh like, I've tried to make videos about it and stuff, but it's just not that entertaining to watch, to watch me sitting there sanding a car, you know. So, um, yeah, I think I just... I want to make some better art and do some better stuff. So. Like she said, you gotta keep painting at a 10, bro, because if you paint at a 6, then everybody knows you for that 6, you know, instead of, you know, always painting at a 10. And I feel like, you know, because of, because of needing money, I've been painting at 5 and 6s and 7s and just all throughout the range of my skill level when I should have been like just buckling down and doing the best I can on everybody's stuff. So yeah, so what she was saying today really hit me deep and I was just like, oh man, it's kind of like she's talking directly to me. So yeah, I just, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm going to buckle down take myself a lot more serious, take the art more serious. And, you know, see what the next 20 years of airbrushing looks like if I uh, just switch up, just switch up my way of uh, thinking about it and just switching up, you know. So, yeah, so definitely, again, even though she's young and, and new, already she's putting ideas in my head 
just like Steve Leahy, just like Gerald Mendez, just just like Kent Lind and, and all those guys. And all I'm doing is layering in the orange, right? So let me let me bring you down here to the action. Right, so all I'm gonna do again is layer in the orange. That's gonna turn some of our cloud type stuff orangey. We're also gonna switch up some of the stars. Right, so we're gonna layer in over over the sides here. And then on some of that blue, it's gonna kind of uh, create this hue, right? Like uh, you're not gonna know how to feel about it at first, but as more you fill it in, the more you're gonna like that color. It's gonna make it like almost like a teal mixed in with the orange, like really weird, but it looks good. And we wanna cover them stars, more importantly, because all we're doing is building another layer <laughs> with the candy, right? So. We're gonna kind of put some of this orange kind of splashing over on this side. If you notice, I've kind of made the a big wave kind of coming off the back and going this way. So all off the side here, I'm gonna make the orange, and then we're gonna come back with the sunset magenta over this way. Um, then we'll lay some bleed checker, add some planets, and some more stars. but I don't want to get too crazy with this orange. I want to lay it more over the black and kind of fade it into the colors that we've done. I don't want to just like orange, like nah. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just to tint all this down, throw it into the background. And we're gonna build it all up. And we want some of this way over here. Some just a little bit right up in here. <sighs> She's right, Mike. You stopped haggling a while back. If business is a lot better, you get the customers you want. <laughs> Do we have to call you sir now? No, no, no. There's nothing like that. I'm just, you know. I've been saying for a while, man, that I just want to paint better stuff. I just want to paint better stuff. She explained how she paints better stuff. I'm going to give her away a shot. That's all I'm saying. It made a lot of sense to me, and it seems to make a lot of sense for you guys. I'm just trying. And honestly, it's it's because of you guys that I can try it. Because again, I'm not I'm not as I'm, boy boy is still hungry, but not as bad. You know, like I'm you know with the stencils and the YouTube channel and everything that's kind of happening, I feel like I could be a little bit more selective and not have to be so, Ugh, you know. <laughs> Disney is always a good choice. Yeah. Uh, this one is for Gerald Mendez, who I believe works for Disney. You know, so that's all I'm doing. And, you know, again, big shout outs to her. If you don't follow the Painting Buzz on Instagram, you're missing out. Uh, also, if you don't follow her on Facebook, Jesse Madera. You're missing out and I, I'm gonna try to talk her into opening a YouTube channel so that we could all kind of watch her live streams the way it's meant to be watched and not like yeah <laughs> anyway I think that's about enough orange I just kind of laid it in a little bit darker in here just so that when we lay the sunset magenta kind of pops in right here Sunset magenta time. Well, let, me, let me just make sure I get some. Make sure this poppity pop back here, this color. I think master is more befitting. <laughs> What's up, Bobby Lipford? How's it going? Um, who are we talking about painting better stuff? And thanks, Blue. Nice to see you around again. Laughing my ass off, Vinny. Good one. <laughs> Break a leg, FPV Yoda. Must airbrush you, you. <laughs> must airbrush you will. <sighs> I'm not a very good Yoda impersonator. Anyway. Rinse. 
rinse out this orange. So yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what the next 10 years of airbrushing looks like. I'm just going to try to, you know, push the quality on everything. Try to make sure I take in only the jobs that I like and stuff like that. So, What's up, Veto? So relaxed and watch, but I have to head back to work. Sucks. Hello. <laughs> have a good day at work, sister. Must airbrush with force, you will. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a good man. Sounds like you make moves. That's great. Hope it works out for you. You are the man. I mean, all I can hope is just for another better year, bro, because I'm happy we made it through this past year, but we'll see what the next year brings, right? <laughs> Gotta keep it a pump and keep it a move. Magenta, I'm just layering it in pretty good. And that's really gonna just blend in everything real nice. I went through all those colors and they're all in there. all those stars just way in there there's like you know different colors of everything all right so let's lay a little bleed checker and then we can lay some more white stars we'll lay our planets and then we'll do the last bit of highlights over our background here and that, then I think at the very end, I just want to add some waves kind of crashing off um, separate from this just to kind of make it kind of separate, you know, make it nice there. So, yeah, just trying to make sure I don't put this away when I still need it. Just add some splashes of color in here. looking really good Mike thank you thank you uh, these past years have been a buzz so I'm not optimistic optimistic about the next year yeah I mean I guess I've been fortunate enough to be able to make moves fast enough to stay ahead of the, of the drought and honestly I didn't know what I was gonna do like you guys were there bro when it, like I did the live stream and I was telling you guys about like yo everything's closing <laughs> and stuff was running out of shit and and then you guys made yourselves heard man james melton sent stuff and everybody was like yo we got your back and you know 
I honestly like this is why I come on here and thank you guys all the time. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, thank you, thank you, because it literally like it did save not just the channel, but like it's it's like it saved this whole thing because yeah, you know. At that point, I knew I just had to keep pushing on, keep pushing forward, and just hope for the best. And luckily, it all worked out. Uh, bleed checker. Let me get the bleed checker real quick. You just want to say you motivate me to draw. Hopefully one day you'll be as good as me. I mean, you just got to be as good as you, man. And it's all practice, right? Someday you will be good as me, but don't, don't, don't beat yourself up too much if you don't, like, start off being amazing. Because I didn't start off being amazing. Like, literally none of the artists I've ever met started off being amazing. And, yeah. So I'm just gonna lay in a couple little coats of bleed checker real quick. And let me actually plug in the, the ventilation real quick so it pulls this out as I'm spraying because <clears throat> What's up Pablo Jr. How's it going? What's up Mike Graves? Good things come to good people. Hopefully I mean we're just doing the best we're doing, man. You guys are all awesome, though. All awesome. Thank you guys for all the encouraging words. And, and know that, you know, it's mutual beneficial thing. Like, you guys come on here, and you guys say I motivate you and all this stuff. But at the same time, like, you guys kind of motivate me, man. Every time you guys tell me that and, and I hear that and I just feel like I have to do better and be better, you know. It was all fun and games at the beginning. We were doing pranks and stuff, but now every, it's like it feels like it's getting more serious and people are getting really involved. And I feel like I should put a better example for everybody. <laughs> um, so yeah, like hopefully... Hopefully you all just enjoy the videos and stuff. And yeah. Like I said, we'll see what the next 10 years of airbrushing brings. <laughs> 20 years, 10 years. We'll see what the next 10 years of YouTube brings. How about that? Let's see if YouTube's still around in 10 years. <laughs> just be you and you will be your best. Uh, yeah, that's kind of all I try to do is just be me. Best advice ever, you just gotta be as good as you. Yeah, don't ever try to be like anybody else. Just paint what you feel, paint what you want. Just keep painting and know that you will grow. Like practice is a big thing, practice and just grow from there. And it's cool to have inspirations and stuff, but don't beat yourself up if, if your painting doesn't look like they're painting like right away, right? Nobody starts there. Michael Jordan didn't start by dunking the ball, right? He was small at one point. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's all I gotta say is like, just take your time, grow with it, and you'll be good. But yeah, I just, you know, thank you guys all for all continuously watching and providing me entertainment while I paint. You know what I'm saying? Because that's also kind of a thing. Like, I like reading the chat. You guys are fun sometimes. So, are you going to the ro rendezvous? Uh, yes, I'm. I'm gonna be at the Coast Airbrush Rendezvous. I'll be taking the Lumen Luminlore class. I really wish Luminlore had a different name. Kind of like if it was just like light up paint. It'd be like it'd be so much easier to explain to people. 
You know how my, my non, non airbrush people respond when I tell them, yeah, I'm going to go take the Luminor class. And they're like, what the fuck is Luminor, Lolor? <laughs> uh, uh, you just saw a video on the bleed checker and they said, let's not add it to the paint and use it as a top coat to candy. What's your opinion on that? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so we just laid down candy and then I'm using this as a top coat to the candy. And then we're gonna let it dry. Obviously, it dries up pretty quick, but then that will stop any colors I lay over the bleed checker. It'll stop it from bleeding into the candy, so that it, the candy won't change the color of the white. Um, you know, thought airbrushing was dying on art, but look at it now. Exactly, bro. The artist in the world is. is uh, yeah, exactly, Namless. And you're still Namless. <laughs> the namless subscriber <laughs> how's the cover work is it pretty good yeah i mean i've been using it for everything we're here we're using it to lay bleed checker i i just used it to lay some candy um so it's been working out really good uh jason bukau do you still paint rc bodies yeah i still i still plan on painting rc bodies hopefully we'll see um you tell your students you get out of you have to put your time to get good at it. Yeah, exactly. If you don't practice, if you don't add it every day, um, it's hard, right? So, yeah. Anyway, um, let's empty this out. Clean this airbrush up. Trying to keep your hands still while doing a drawing, yeah. Wow, you said my name right. Yeah, of course. Jason Bukau. Trying to figure out what color you used on the left side of the clouds. The brown or hazy looking clouds. Orange over the blue, yeah. Yeah, so adding that orange, see, like here you get some of that brown. Then you get the orange, and then there's kind of like a teal color, and then I've mixed in some purple magenta candy there. And so we're going to have all of that in there. But a lot of this is going to bust to get hidden in anyway, so cause we're going to lay some more white. <laughs> so don't admire it too much. All right. <laughs> don't get used to looking at it. <laughs> it was supposed to be the nameless but it, that was already taken uh yeah yeah i understand bro i understand what your name is supposed to be i'm just giving you shit because obviously it's misspelled you know <laughs> just like when people come in here and i say the opaque colors you know it's oh yeah these are the opaque colors and then people go, oh, it's opaque, it's opaque, you're supposed to say opaque. And it's just like, I know, bro, but I'm doing it to make you mad. <laughs> oh, my God. It, I've done it for so long that I just, I literally, that's just how it comes out now. I just literally say opaque. And, yeah, I need to stop. I've been trying to convince myself to say opaque now for, for everything. So. Anyway, here we go, more stars. And we can finally lay in some planets. Just a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. Now we're going to re-highlight our nebulas and clouds or wave. It's like a little bit of everything because it's kind of like a wave that's going to come with the, with the whale here. But at the same time, it's transforming into space. So it's like space is forming around the cloud, right? So now I'm going to come in here and we're going to do all our little details on this nebulas using the, the white that we had already built and all of that. See, now we build... Now we build the jazzy jazz. 
Ah, uh, now I see it. My video call like this bad. <clears throat> you should be teaching classes at Coast Therapy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't know about that. You know, I've been airbrushing for a while, for sure. But some of those guys have me beat, like, double time. Like, some of those guys have been airbrushing for 40 years. Like, since airbrushing started and stuff. That, and, like, what am I going to teach? What am I going to teach that they don't already offer? They, they already, like, have, like, a, a realism class and everything else. Mike Lavalley's not around to teach fire anymore, but... You know, that'd be kind of jacked up. I don't know. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to fill nobody's shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. If it ever... If it ever... it's in, If it's in the cards, it'll happen. And they'll ask me. I don't, I don't want to be that guy, like, imposing or trying to you know, go after something that's not meant for me. If they take interest in me after this, then, you know, so be it. And we can figure something out, I'm sure, but... That, that, had, that literally had not even crossed my head until you said that. So, yeah, I'm, that's not something I'm... <sighs> it wasn't obvious to me. I always thought it was spelled right to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> pointed it out <laughs> oh, sorry yeah like yeah so is that supposed to be mickey mouse or just look like him no it is it's mickey mouse in his fantasia outfit holding an airbrush pointing up at the whale that's going to be jumping over it so it's 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 definitely mickey mouse every artist has a technique they can share helps the rest of us get better yeah i mean that for sure like i said if it's in the cards it's in the cards i'm not that one. <laughs> guys like yeah uh, I love you guys that's all I gotta say is I love you guys you guys are awesome Like I said, those guys have been around forever. There's a reason I'm making paintings for them, right? And they're not making paintings for me. <laughs> That's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But yeah, like, all I know is they've all inspired me, and I hope they inspire you guys. And all I want to do is shed a light on some of them. And that's, that's what these panels and these live streams are for, is that, I already had people that don't know who Gerald Mendez was, and so this will shine a light on Gerald. And again, it's he's one of the artists that always kind of inspired me growing up, and that I always seen in the magazines and stuff. And I was just it was always a thing because he had a, a Hispanic name, and he's Hispanic, and he, he mainly talks Spanish, right? Like English is a second language to him. Um, it's always that thing where he always kind of was like, I could do it, bro. Like, if he can do it, you know, I, you know, so it's that whole thing. You can be like an airbrush motivational speaker, bro. Keeping it pumping, keeping it moving. Make sure you keep that paint flowing. Make sure you're keeping it smooth, keeping it, keeping it going. And you just lay a little cloud here, a little cloud there. Make, make sure your highlights is not too strong. But make sure you come fierce with it. Make sure you drop a little fierceness. Make sure you let know, them highlights know that you're there. Be careful. Draw back. Feel the burn, but don't do it too much. <laughs> Alrighty.
so I'd like to let's zoom you guys out so you guys can see what that looks like. See, it's really starting to take shape now. Let's go ahead and just get the rest of these in here. And then we could add some planets. Maybe add some nice bright spots and highlights and stuff once we're all completely done. I'm going to try to just kind of keep this all kind of monotone, not nothing too bright, just kind of all the same brightness level. And then at the very end, I'll come in and we'll add some nice bright highlights, maybe a couple stars that are shining, maybe a comet or something like that. You know. So I like that Gerald came in and said hi and made me nervous and then just bounced out and was like, later. At least I think he's bounced out. He could be watching still. I just assume he left. <laughs> um, obviously, we love you too. <laughs> Much love and respect. Yeah, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. What's up, Alexis? How's it going? So where is the Bob Ross Mike Airbrush artist? <laughs> Here's the Chicano Bob Ross. That's funny. <laughs> so all we're going to do is add some happy little cloud friends over here. And all we're going to do is just feather in the brush nice and lightly. Just going from left to right, right to left. Fading in, a little bit of dots, a little bit of dagger strokes. And then we're going to wiggle out the highlight of the cloud all the way up here. Come back all the way around with that wiggle. There you go, nice little soft clouds up here. Just for our whale friend to play in, right? Our little whale friend is going to be playing up here. So we want to make sure we give him a nice little area to play. <laughs> and just keep making the airbrush, just kind of working it around, building up the little soft cloud friends. You, know, you just, they're so soft, you almost just want to lay up there with your little whale. You know? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> oh my god. You know, that is the most interesting about, uh, the most interesting thing about Bob Ross. So, if you only watch his show, right, like, you get the, the, you start feeling like that's how he really is, right? But, um, if, like, in the behind the scenes, if, if you ever watch any, like, Bob Ross documentaries and stuff, the first thing you find out is that, uh, yeah. Bob Ross was in the Air Force and was kind of a badass and stuff and just liked to paint. And there was another painter at the time um, that was kind of doing what Bob Ross did already. And Bob Ross kind of snuffed him out, bro. <laughs> like Bob Ross did what that guy was doing and took it over. And then, uh, yeah, took over his whole shebang. And uh, his, his perm, like Bob Ross's perm, was fake. So they actually, uh, before every episodes and stuff, they had to do his hair because, it, like, he did not actually have curly hair. His hair was straight and stuff. So you start actually finding out that, like, Bob Ross himself, what you think of him is actually, like, a character. So that makes it even more interesting because not only was he an artist on paper, but, like, yo, Guy could have been in a movie and probably been okay because he was a hell of an actor. Right, because the whole time he's talking to you and being all nice and happy little clouds and stuff. But the truth is that behind the scenes, that, that dude probably cursed like a, a sailor and <laughs> like nobody knows, right? Like, I, like, I, like according to the documentary, he was kind of a ruthless. So I don't know. It's just funny to find all these things out. Like not having a real like the first right when they said that he didn't have really curly hair and I was like it's a lie this is, I don't believe it like I was like no that can't be true my boy wouldn't lie to me like that 
He told me he was my friend. <laughs> I felt betrayed, bro. I felt really betrayed when I found out he didn't have real curly hair. <laughs> yeah, he was a drill sergeant. Exactly. Like, yeah, so he was like real mean and stuff, bro. So. <laughs> There's no mistakes here, I say. Just happy little accidents, Holmes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but that's like, that just made him even that more interesting to me because then I was just like, yo, he was a, also a very good actor. Like, obviously, he was on camera acting and portraying these things and doing these things but behind the scenes like he could have been over there slamming 40s in the background bro popping eye drops and shit and god damn this fucking cameraman blah 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 and then he gets like a <laughs> nah I'm just playing I don't think he was like that I'm just saying like dude was actually like in the military he was kind of a badass and then then he just did like snuff out that other guy out of his own TV show and like his style and everything. So. <laughs> Crazy to think about, bro. After he got out of the material, he made a vow that he would never yell or raise his voice again after doing it for so long. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean. I can just imagine it, bro, but that's just crazy to think about, you know what I'm saying? Because he'd get on camera and be Mr. Super Calm, super sensitive, just, you know, everything's going to be okay, <laughs> kind of thing. And then come to find out, it's like, nah, bro, that motherfucker will kill you. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to use, I'm just going to use some tape, one of the regular tapes around here. And we're gonna we're gonna outline a little circle real quick. I'm just wishing I had something. There you go. Right on, Bobby. We'll see you later, man. Have a good have a good day with your son. Alright, so I'm going to put a planet, I'd say right about right here. So I'm just going to take my tape, and I want it to stay in place, so I'm going to tape it into place. Bam. going to let it sit for a second just to make sure it stops sagging. Alright, then we're going to take our white, just starting off with the white. And uh, I say we make this planet kind of like, like orangey, like a gaseous orange planet. So I'm just going to take the white and we're going to kind of fill it all the way around in here. Quick. See, then we're going to use the Air Cobra that you guys were asking about. And some little bit of orange here. Can we get this on there. I think you had to be smoking some kind of reefer to be that happy. <laughs> but he didn't encourage a lot of creating your own art when it comes to your own pieces. Your art, no one else's. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I always liked about him, is that he always just kind of like freehanded it on. 
Uh, nowadays, I can appreciate the planning, you know. Obviously, that's why I have stencils on the on the board. But I, you know, something about Bob Ross freehanded all the time just kind of made me think like I sh I always needed to be freehanded. It just, you know. Right on, Craig. We'll see you later, man. Have a good day at work. Yeah, you learned a lot from him. There are no mistakes in creating art. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of one of the biggest things I always took from him, too. Is like, there's no such thing as making mistakes. It's like, it can all be fixed, or it can all be worked around, or, it, you know. What do I think about the new Wicked Opaques? Uh, I think they're amazing. I haven't stopped, like, literally all, like, the illustration colors... Um, I haven't used since I got the opaques uh, the original line I've only used for doing the shirts and uh, all the other wicked colors have basically just been sitting over there gathering dust because ever since I got the new wicked opaques they're just they're just really good the coverage is really good right, so I'm layering in some orange on this Real quick, nothing too too fancy. Then I'm just gonna layer in a little bit of purple into our orange here to give us some brown. Then now I'm gonna add some details onto the planets. Kind of like some, uh, some what do you call it? Like some gash storms or something. I don't know. You haven't been lucky enough to try Wicked or Createx yet. I mean, I don't know. I've been using Createx for so long, bro. Right now is such a good time, though, to be getting into airbrushing. Because, yeah, Createx has really just made it so easy. They, um, with their lines and stuff, and their mixtures of paint are, like, so good now. Um, they have them down, like, they have them down good. You could order Createx and know you're getting something good. So. so all I'm doing is adding kind of some, some planetary effect here to our planet. This is a planet with no water. It's like dry. Maybe it's like Mars. Let's, let's say it's Mars. Maybe Gerald will be the first artist to have his artwork on Mars. Maybe that's what this, this painting is, is implying. Add a little highlight here. If there's any artist that deserves to be the first one on Mars, it's definitely Gerald. You know, the first artist to decorate, like, the space station on Mars or something. So there we go. We got our nice planet there. But look, the, the, the tape was sagging as I was painting. Can you guys see that? You can see me guys in there. Look at this. It's like so tiny. Like each one of those little separations right there is, that's like, oh my God. It's all right though. You just use some white. I will just realign this up here. Good, and then I'm just gonna give it a little freehand glow just to make it look like it's it's glowing, you know, with the reflection of the light here. Bam. And also you notice I didn't use any black here, so when we lay the clear, yeah. helps if you can see what I'm talking about. So on this side of the planet over here, 
I didn't actually use any black, so this is like a really dark brown that I mixed up with the purple and the orange. So when we lay the clear here, there'll be a nice separation and the stars will pop in more on the back, like right here on this, especially right around the edge. You see those stars right around the back. Um, those will pop out more once we lay the clear coat. So let's build up another planet. We have that one there. And we have this galaxy over here. I believe we can add like a comet or something up here, right? I mean, I'm talking to myself because you guys can't see. Uh, you know, we've got that planet there. We could add a comet up here. We have this galaxy over here kind of in the background. Um, it'd be nice to have like a little planet or something over here maybe. maybe on this side of it I don't know cuz I kind of want water splashing here so maybe do we even need another planet I think we need another planet hmm hmm actually what if we take I don't want to use that same one I need something different size I don't know if it's like do we need a planet though cuz I'm gonna add the splashes here. Splashes over here. Some on this side. It's gonna kind of fill all this in. Could add a little sparkle twinkle there. Maybe some more splashes on this side. Yeah, and I think that'll be good. I, think th I actually don't think we need any more planets in that one. You get a pretty good idea of the space just from that. Hmm. You use Createx for a pack and I use Golden for transparent. Yeah, it's floating, May. A smaller planet. Where though? Where the, the whole idea is where where do we put the planet? I don't know. Let me uh I'm just gonna start filling in the stars and stuff and then we can decide. Or I can decide. The Go Kid, welcome to the Skull, Qua Skull Squad, sir. Thank you, thank you for joining. So we have that sparkle there. And just add some bright stars up in here. the bottom left over here but this, that's what I'm saying though it's gonna have the waves kind of coming in right behind Mickey that I'm gonna add here in a second um, so my I, like I was thinking it, I don't know bro there's already a lot going on I want to work in another planet but if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be sometimes it's better to just leave it alone what's up William Klein how's it going you know, I don't want to force another planet into it. If it doesn't need it, it doesn't need it, you know. That's just all I'm going to say. And so these little stars I'm building up now are kind of going to be like the closest, brightest stars going to be the biggest, right? So they'll be the most noticeable, but you'll be able to see all the other ones as well.
Right on. Thanks, Alex. Alexis. I could I get away with with it still doing two searches with good detail? It looks crisp. Um, yeah. So I know, I know. Um, the wicked can work in a pinch for shirts and stuff for sure. But honestly, for your own sake, if you want it to uh, last, I would just switch over to the original line. But the the wicked line. Just from what seems that everything is happening, um, it's going to be more directed towards automotive and stuff. Um, so they want to keep the original line, obviously, for doing the textiles, the shirts, hats, and all that stuff, because the formula is so good for that, right? Like you, you press that on, like it's it's on there. Um, but I know they they really, really, really um, are trying to also have a line that's specifically dedicated for automotive and stuff and that's where the wicked line comes in but in a pinch I mean I think you can um, but I would just I would just keep doing testing um, from what I've in the past right because see here's the thing is all I could talk about is the, the past and when I've used it and it's been great um, but I know the formula has changed since then so I haven't painted too many shirts using the wicked um, to be able to test to see if it's going to fade out or not or, or if it's going to last or what exactly I'm to expect from that so I've been, you know I haven't been airbrushing t-shirts for over almost like a year and a half now or over a year now um, you know so in that time Createx made some changes and stuff and uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm not 100%. I just know from their data sheet, um, you know, they recommend using the, the original line for that, so. All right, so let's start back down here. Let's add our waves. I think it looks good without, without more planets. I think that one planet is gonna get it pretty good. Once we add our waves in here, it's gonna look pretty good. And then we can focus in on on coming back in a couple days and getting all the Mickey and the whale and everything. But I want these waves. I'm switching back to the daylight blue. I definitely want these waves to be kind of pronounced in here. So, but I definitely want some of that background to poke through, right? I don't want to just cover it. see those opaques like it covers up so fast bro <laughs> it works so good it literally just covers like even over the black you know you just you just lay your line in and it's like it's there you know before that that used to be such a pain in the butt before like having to do everything with white first and then lay color and then go back and yeah, now it's like bro you just want blue let's lay in some blue like what <laughs> So this blue will also kind of break into the, the purple and the orange and, and the browns of the background and the black. You know, having this nice bright blue is really going to cut in and just make the design pop a little bit. And we're going to throw a little white highlights on this water, you know, make it, you know, nice and watery. I would like to work on another planet too. <laughs> I know, what are we all? What are we all, bro? I, I actually know, fuck that. What if something goes wrong on another planet, bro? Like, what are you gonna do? 
I take it back. I don't want to work on a no planet. So I think I want to actually see this just like a little bit right here. Cool. Let's use some white to bring this out. And I don't know why all of a sudden the idea of putting bubbles on it is like filling my head like putting bubbles like going up I don't know why that, I don't know that doesn't even make sense it, So much better here. So Jess is out right now getting the maintenance done on the car so that it'll be nice and fresh for when we drive out to Cali. So yeah, if you guys live near Anaheim and stuff, make sure you reach out. Um, add me on Facebook or send me a message or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, I'd be down to meet up and go have a beer or something like that right after the classes or whatever it is. Um, if anybody wants to get together, I'm totally down. Like, I'm not going to go to your house and try to get, like, a private lesson or something. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like, let's go out to, like, have some food or something, you know what I'm saying? If anybody's down for something like that, let me know. And I'm definitely down to meet all you guys. You know what, maybe not bubbles, but I think I need water splashing off some of these ends.
just so that we have more kind of, uh, you know, just something kind of going off a little bit, just more water. These little Japanese style like uh, waves here. It's like what you see on a tattoo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what is the event in, is in Anaheim? Uh, so the Coast Airbrush, uh, the Airbrush Rendezvous. Yeah, the event is Coast Airbrush, you know? Mm -hmm, that's the event. No, uh, the event is at Coast Airbrush. It's called the Airbrush Rendezvous. They have lots of classes. Um, if you go check it out, coastairbrush.com. Uh, they have like beginner courses. They have full-on painting courses, automotive courses, courses that they, they show you kind of how to use the plotter. Um, they have the Luminor course, which I'm going to be taking. And they have everything there. And uh, they provide everything for you. So you, you take the class, and from what it seems like, they have everything there. Um, you don't have to bring anything with you or anything like that. So, From the information that I have received, that seems to be it. Yeah, the Luminor Get Lit Workshop, June 11th through the 13th, yep. And uh, I'll actually be arriving in California, which I believe is the 9th. Um, I'm going to try to show up. I'm going to try to go to over to Coast Airbrush. And if I can, you know, drop off all the paintings and stuff and uh, just have a quick chat with Dave. And also make sure I don't have to be there on the 10th because on the 10th is actually Violet's birthday. So on the 10th, uh, we actually wanna go out and like take her out. And uh, we've been wanting to go to Disneyland, but it's like closed um, to out of state people or something. So my wife has been like super upset that we can't go to Disneyland, but it looks like Legoland is gonna be open. So probably for her birthday, we're gonna be going to Legoland. And that's why I was asking Air Todd if uh, SeaWorld was open, because my wife and, and, and my mother-in-law is also going with us. Uh, they're they're going to be the ones kind of out and about the whole time while I'm stuck taking a class. So. Like my wife keeps forgetting. She keeps, we should go here. We should go there. And I'm like, you can go anywhere you want, babe. I'm going to be over here. And she's like, oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. So. But I'm honestly, I think I'd, I'm going to have a lot of fun at the rendezvous so it'll be all right i'm not i'm not upset about it any <laughs> at all like i'm like yeah i'm like you know i'm gonna be amongst a bunch of artists learning paint doing paint stuff that's cool enough for me all righty so i'm just doing the last little white highlights on here and then um, I'll kind of get the imprint or the transfer of these stencils on. And uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like so you guys get a little preview of the what's to come on the next stream. But I think we're pretty close to calling it for today. And one thing, oh actually you know what, I'm just going to add those splashes coming off of the water. That'll just take a second. 
and then again like uh, at the very end here I'll do the last little bit of details kind of on my own and stuff um, like if I do some little streaks or something or maybe some bubbles inside of this uh, water you know I'll kind of go off on my own you think SeaWorld is closed to out-of-state people too? Oh man that sucks I'm going to get Mike all you can eat <laughs> after class. <laughs> yeah, I actually I don't do that. Um, I don't do buffets and stuff anymore. And, and yeah, I said anymore because uh, well, one I'm trying to take care of myself, like you know, physically, and it's just bad for my health to eat that way. So I, I'm just not doing that. And like two, when I say we could go out for a beer, I literally mean a beer. Like I'm gonna drink one beer. You could drink as many as you want, obviously, but I'm, I'm like, I'm probably not gonna drink very much. You know, more of a social drinker and not like a let's get drunk, you know, like nah. I'm just like, oh yeah, let's have a drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm 34. You know, in Mexican years, that's like 53, all right? So, <laughs> it's all I'm gonna say, bro. <laughs> you know what, and I actually might make a couple more cutouts, but just really small ones and maybe like add like a planet over here and then maybe like one up here somewhere. Just little ones, just way off over there. Maybe one back over here or something. I don't know. Still debating on that. I'll have to think about that more myself just when I'm looking at the painting. Okay, salad and beer. <laughs> I'd prefer a steak and beer, you know. I'm down to have all the protein, bro, but I can't have no nothing like, you know, fatty. A good burger too, like if it's made like out of good meat, you know. Like if you say let's hang out, we're gonna have burgers. I assume you're gonna take me to like a good burger place. Bro, if, if we roll up to McDonald's, I'm just going to jump out the car. Like, I'm like, all right, bro, I'll see you later. <laughs> but if you take me to, like, burger joint where they only use, like, certain kind of beef or something like that, yeah. Most places want reservations. You think Legoland is one of them? Yeah, my wife is the one that's taking care of all that, bro. So you might want to tell her. I think she's the one that's been uh, been trying to get on there and stuff. So you used to. Be, I used to be a 12 pack of tall cans a day man myself with about three or four shots in each one. I used to love my boiler makers. Oh my gosh, what the fuck does that even mean, bro? <laughs> what does that even mean, Namless? I don't even know what any of that means. In and out, man. Or does it require vaccinations? Yeah, like we already were vaccinated, so. Upper left, something with rings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something with rings would definitely look cool. Maybe I'll add rings onto this one and just add like a smaller regular planet over there and then like another planet over here or something just so that everything kind of has... No matter where you look on the painting, you'll have something to kind of you know, see and admire.
Nah, cause like if we have burgers, right? Like, if you come, if we if we ever do classes here in Pueblo, Colorado, and like it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take all you guys out for burgers, right? Here in Pueblo, there's a place called Bingo Burger, and at Bingo Burger, they literally like hand like craft the patties right in front of your face. And they use only like super high quality beef and like they have their own meat grinder there. And they like, they do special stuff where like they put like bacon into the meat or like cheese or chilies or whatever it is you want. They'll like actually like into the patty and then cook it up for you and smash it up there for you and everything. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of more of an experience. Um, yeah. So if you took me something like that, I'd be like, yeah, these burgers are fucking bomb, bro. I'm down with those. But if we show up to a place that I could have here, then I, I'd be upset. I'd be like, bro, of all the places you could bring me, <laughs> you know, you know, I got Wendy's back at home, right? Like, <laughs> all right, I'm just getting the outline of this whale in, and then we'll uh, start removing this. So we, now we have the whale up there, and then we'll be able to just, or I should uh, actually, before I remove them. Alright, so next time we come back, which will be in a couple days, today is uh, Thursday, so Saturday is probably when I'll come back alive, Saturday, if not Sunday, no it has to be Saturday because I have something on have to do on Sunday um, so on Saturday we'll come back live and we'll get this Mickey Mouse knocked out as well as the whale and yeah behind the scenes I'll keep getting panels ready because some of the other panels require more work like the panel for Dave being that he is like the coast airbrush guy if there's anybody that needs to be impressed, it's him. Alrighty, oh wait, there's still one more. There we go. So there, from there, we'll be able to start our characters, the main, main shebang. Just trying to twist it to give you guys like a head on shot. There you go. Right. Now I hit the camera because the camera exaggerates the brights and then like it makes the darks also super dark. But it's there's like more. I don't know how to explain it. You can kind of see it right there. There's more of a haze in those areas, right? Like you see how in there, there's kind of more of that purple hazy. Uh, that's kind of like everywhere even in here on the camera it looks really dark but here in person there's like a lot of little orange stars and purple and orange haze everywhere so yeah that's just kind of the way the camera rolls like you can see it's struggling to like figure out where it wants to anyway hopefully you guys like that video hopefully you guys like that little trick for doing the stars uh, doing the planet as well. We made that super easy. It was super quick. And uh, you need to put a seagull in the whale's mouth. <laughs> I mean, it could be in there. The mouth is closed. You just don't know what's in its belly, you know? <laughs> Bison meat hamburgers are hella good. Yes, 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 yes. It is. They are good. Someone tell Mike a joke. Uh, all right. Um, you <laughs> so, yeah, thank you guys all for hanging out today. Like I said, we'll come back on Saturday. We'll get uh, the whale in there nice and uh, detailed. And then we'll get Mickey in here uh, also nice and detailed as well. The background, it is. It's the background. It is what it is. And uh, it's going to really pop out a lot more once we add in the clear and stuff. And uh, all these stars and the layers that we built in really start to take shape. So, yeah, that's kind of it for today. Uh, obviously, Gerald already knows about it or something. So... I'll try to post the picture, and uh, we'll come, like I said, we'll come back on Saturday. We'll finish it up. So 
so yeah thank you guys all for watching um i think that's it i need to drink some water and i need to go get some food i need to check my messages apparently and uh yeah we'll see you guys in uh we'll see you guys in a couple days with more stuff so adios thank you everybody <laughs> i just gotta say thank you everybody because there's so many so thank you everybody that dropped in today uh, and watched and stuff so have a good one everybody later